okay so let us start a visual studio c++ vrep client server simulation so let us first start with a fresh visual studio project so here i am creating a new visual studio project project win32 console application let us call it as vrep test and click ok finish So once you have it, you will have a dummy file. Let us try to build it to see if the compiler is working properly. Yes, so it built. Let us make a, a pre-setup for our environment. We need to run all the programs in 64 bit of Visual Studio. So let us create it. So to do that, you go in the configuration manager, select x64, and press OK. So now you are in the 64 bit environment and you have to set up some project properties as well. To do that, right click on the solution file, go to properties, and you will see the properties menu. Right in here, you first need to set up the macros for enabling the VREP simulation. So let us start by including some additional directives before doing that make sure that your configuration is in release mode right so all our projects we run it from the release mode so let us make this as our default setting so once you have that go into the additional include directories and you need to include these two files which you get once when you install the vrep so inside the vrep you have vrep pro edu when you go in that inside that directory you will see a directory called programming so double click on the programming to open it and once you go there you see a remote api so copy the path go back to the visual studio click edit and create it right now we need to add another one which is include so it lies in the same directory as a full programming you just see the include here copy it and paste it back in the include so now we are done with the include we have to generate the preprocessor macros for the release setting right for the preprocessor you need to add these two commands first we need to say that we are not running with the matlab proceedings so you say that So you need to limit the MATLAB restrictions, which we call it like non-MATLAB existing parsing. And then you have to limit the maximum number of connections to 255. So that the programs will not crash even if there is any extra, extra burden on the source, right? So once you add them to the preprocessor definitions, click OK. And now come to the pre-compiled headers which is also like lying on the left side menu and select not using pre-compiled headers right so just to summarize you need to check for the three different things which is inside the cc you go in the general you check that you added these two directories in the additional include directories list right so that's the first one. And the second one is preprocessor. So 
you go in the preprocessor, you see the preprocessor definitions here. Select edit and see you, you added these two preprocessing definitions, right? And the third one is you go inside the precompiled headers and select that you are using you're not using any precompiled headers, right? So these are the three settings which are most important for our today's task. There is one small different change where you see in the configuration properties where you go inside the general and you see that the character set is set to the unicode character, right? You need to use a multi-byte character set in here. So change it to multi-byte character set and the whole program optimization, you say that, yes, using link time code generation. If by default, if, if the Visual Studio gave you this option, like you use link time code generation, you don't need to change anything in there, right? So you just have to maintain that the character set and the whole program optimization are set to these values. So once you are done with that, click apply and click OK. Right? So now you are done with that. Now you need to add like four files from vrep installation right once you have that so you go again back into the programming directory and there you see remote api directory copy external api.c external api.h external api platform.c external api platform.h copy those four fold four four uh, files come back to your main project window which is our vrep test right go inside the vrep test and paste those four files inside this directory now come back to the visual studio version right click on the solution and you have to add these files to in order to add these files you have to right click on the solution click add and click existing item so a small menu window will show up like this and you just have to select those four files holding control button so i'm selecting here external api.c external api.h external api platform.c and external api platform.h so once you select those four click add right so you have that to make sure just to build solution once that you don't have any problems with that so now we have a problem with the application which says that pre-compiled header is from a previous version of the compilation, right? So because I'm running, I'm compiling the project in the real debug x64, which you need to change it to release x64, right? Re change it to release x64 and try to build it. So now you see that those two warnings or those two errors disappear and there is a small warning says that secure no warnings. Well, you get these warnings rarely when you are using Visual Studio 2013 because some of the functions provided by this VREP are deprecated or no longer available. So in order to suppr suppress those warnings, you just copy that CRT secure no warnings, right click on the solutions go to properties again go into the cc plus plus and then go to preprocessor and then go and add that macro definition next to the number of connections right so here i have added crt secure no warnings in the preprocessor definition so now i finished with that click apply click ok right if i compile it So it succeeded without any errors, right? So now I have to go and type in my program so that I can communicate with the VREP. So to do that, I will copy paste my old version of the source code, which I also provide with this example. So copy that source, which I have already programmed before. Remove everything in this file. Delete them and then paste right so here i have just pasted all my source code so i just have to release remove that uni std because uni std doesn't work with the windows system 
and then I have to make sure that the preprocessor definition is turned off. Right, so it's turned off and everything looks more or less fine. There's a small problem in here, says that sleep function is not recognized. Well, in Windows, sleep cannot be typed like that. So in order to do that, you need, you need to include windows.h. So you, you need to take care that this windows.h has been included before all these header files. Right, so this should be the first library that needs to be included in your source file. And now come back and change that sleep command from small letter to capital letter like sleep. And now this is in mill in milliseconds, so you need to say that I, I wanted to I want to sleep for one second, so you say the thousand milliseconds, right? So you you also copy that. Well, I I will come to that point later. So once you pasted that. Just save it and try to rebuild it. So now everything is built successfully there without any errors. Right? The next thing is to run my simulation application in VREP and try to make the robot move in there. So to do that, I I already gave the VREP simulation application. I just need to open it again. So my VREP simulation application is in this desktop folder. So you see that which is called eva remote api.tt. Right, I will open, I will just open the Eva remote api.ttt, double click without doing anything, just double click and it opens the VREP application. So now you see my robot, two robots, which is one of them is the KUKA Eva and the other one is the Pioneer robot. Well, in this tutorial, I don't do anything with the Pioneer robot. I will just only move the KUKA EVA robot with, with its seven joint angles from my C++ code. Right, so we have developed the client application. So before running the client application, you need to make sure that this is the IP which you are communicating with the, with the VREP. So in our case, in, my, in this case, the VREP is also running from the same computer like the C++ code. So this is the local host address and this is my port number which I am using. And you can see that I'm providing the joint angles, seven joint angles of the EVA robot like that. So in this case, it's all the joints will be at zero location. And in this case, so I'm providing 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 170 degrees, minus 90 degrees, 90, 90 and zero on different on the seven joints. So here I have added a pi by 180 in order to convert this rate degrees to radians, right? Once you do that, the robot will, once you run that, the robot will move to this position because since it's actually originally it lies in this configuration, right? So you have it and then just click start simulation. So once the simulation starts running, you will see that screen. And now I just have to run my C++ code, which I run from here. So you can see that the robot moves, right? So you will see this as the output. So that's it. You have you are successfully connected to VREP and control the joint axis. So there are some kind of small hacks in here where you can also say that I just wanted to sleep. Copy the sleep command. Sleep for one or two seconds after it finished this motion. Right. And maybe I can also disable that command. And then let's see what will happen. Build it first. 
you don't need to change anything in the in the simulation because the simulation is already running so you just have to leave it like that and see what will happen so the code is built successfully and just execute the code so now you can see that it tries to go to zero position but it doesn't have enough time to go there so it continued executing the other motions and now it is executing the code inside the loop right so the program has been finished and you can see that it it counted for thousand steps and it finished so that's it you can do whatever you want with vrep simulation from a c++ code using visual studio